Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. Today's video is just a quick step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to restore a previously backed up file with Synology Hyper Backup. A viewer asked for this in the comments, and this is always where inspiration for new videos is found. So thank you for the interaction. The first step is to connect to the web interface of the Synology and then log in. Then start Hyper Backup. In case the Hyper Backup icon is not visible on the desktop, but you are sure that it is installed, just click the icon that looks like the little blocks in the top left corner and locate it there. On the left hand side, select the backup from which you want to restore the files from. As you can see, I have four backups going on, so I will select the one I need. Then simply click version list at the bottom of the screen. And this will show you a list of all the available backups and their dates. Locate the date from where you want to restore the file from, and then click the icon of the small hourglass to open the backup explorer. And once here, it is actually very straightforward. In case you want another backup to restore from after all, you can use the timeline at the bottom. Every white dot on the timeline represents an existing backup. You can click through them, or select a backup directly. If you know where the file you want to restore is located, just click towards it. You can also use the directory tree on the left hand side if you prefer it that way. In this example, I'm going to restore the thumbnail picture file of an earlier Synology video. But because there are quite some files here, let me search for it through the search box in the top right corner. And there it is. I want the .png file. Just click the file you want to restore to highlight it, and then you have three options. Copy to, restore, and download. The same three options are available by right-clicking the file. Let's start with copy to. This will open a dialog where you have to specify a destination within the Synology, and if the file needs to be overwritten in case it already exists. A simpler option might be to just download the file to your local machine, like you download any other file. I'm on a Mac here, but it will just open your browser's download dialog in your operating system. And then of course the actual restore, to restore the file back to its original location, in case the file was lost or you need an earlier version of the file. So right click, and then click restore. Make sure to understand that the restore will overwrite any files with the same name still available, and then click yes to proceed. And that's it, the restore will now start, and you can monitor its progress. And once done, it is reported that the file was copied slash restored back to its original location. And before I will show you two last quick tips, if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you. Instead of clicking a version list, you can also click this icon to open the same backup explorer. And you might have noticed this icon too, that will start the restoration wizard. And this will also allow you to restore a single file, but as it has more functionality, it might be more confusing than restoring the file via the backup explorer. Once done, exit Hyper Backup and sign out of the Synology. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.